Hey guys, it's me, Thriftastic Mom. I've been out for two days thrifting because y'all know I have an eBay store that I do thrifting for. And I did get a few things for myself also. That's the fun thing about it, is you get to pick up stuff for yourself pretty cheap. Um, this, everything, I sh everything I'm going to show you here is from thrift store or either the Goodwill outlet, which y'all know I love the outlet because you get stuff... Uh, cheap there. It's like a dollar thirty-nine a pound, except for the books and things. I hardly ever get books unless something just jumps out at me. Um, but I got a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna show you and um, you know, kind of tell you. I don't remember all the prices on everything, but I'll show it. And if I remember the price, I'll tell you, and I'll tell you if I'm gonna sell it on eBay or not. So let's get started. Um, First thing I picked up, I picked up this Spider-Man figurine. He actually come out of the bins or the outlet, whichever you call it. A uh, dollar thirty-nine a pound. He don't weigh much at all, so I didn't give a whole lot for him. Definitely less than a dollar, maybe, maybe forty cent, something like that. Um, he does sell pretty good on eBay. I'm not really going to quote any prices on what he sells for because I just glanced it up. I got to check out the numbers on him because there's a bunch of different Spider-Men. But um, I'll definitely triple my money back on that when he sells. I can't tell you how long it'll be before he sells. Some things I sell go off within a day or two. Some things a week. Some things will stay in there for a couple months. So we'll see couple other things I got out of the outlet is this um, this is called a bread machine um, paddle it goes down into the pan that you know it agitates and works the bread I pick these up all the time I usually pick up the pan too um, because I sell it for replacement parts on eBay but the pan was kind of in bad shape so I just took the paddle out and I'll sell that I have sold quite a few of these um, they're really lightweight. I probably give t maybe 10 to 25 cent for it. And, um, I make anywhere from 12 to 14 dollars for these things. Replacements. So, I got that. Um, I got this out of the bins. I actually got this on because I was wanting to make sure that it wasn't going to make my head hurt. But it's called Victoria's Secret uh, Rapture Pure Silk Body Lotion. And it's about this full. There's an airplane going over. And um, I thought I'd just keep that for my sale. That's what it looks like. And it come out of the bin, so I don't know how much it normally costs, but it is Victoria's Secret. And it probably cost me about 50, I'd say about 50 or 60 cent. You know, just estimating because of the weight. Um, I also got this Dove Men in Care. This is actually brand new, come out of the bins. And I thought maybe my husband would want to try that. Since it's so cheap, you know, I mean, it's probably 50, 50 to 60 cent for that. Um, I got these Mickey Mouse Spork and Spoon. This is like a salad serving set. These sell pretty good on, um, eBay, so I'm going to throw them up there and see can I get rid of them. They're brand new. Still got the things on it. So I'm going to see can I get rid of those. I like that print. And they actually got a pair on there that have sold just like them on there. I love that because I can do a, like, sell one like this listing and it makes it so much easier to list when you can find the exact thing on there, you know. Uh, next thing I got are these Catherine's Off Black uh, day sheer pantyhose. I thought I'd just keep these for myself in size E, which uh, goes from 335 pounds to 400 pounds. So they may be a little big, but I'm going to try them anyway and keep those in case I want to wear them. And I probably, they're really light. I probably give a quarter for those. I picked up this cute little cup. It's got all these flowers on it, and then inside there's a cute little bird. And this is actually a Lang and Wise collector mug, and it's called Prim Rose. And what it is is artists that paints pictures, they put them on these mugs. 
and these sell for pretty good. Um, I've seen them ranging from twelve to uh, fifteen to seventeen dollars just for the one mug. So I'm gonna throw that on eBay, and with the weight, I probably give a um, dollar to a dollar thirty-nine for that. Um, picked up a couple nail polishes for me. Um, I got a LA Colors, and this is just like a a silver color, which I might even already have, but I mean it's it's like new, it's full. So I got that one, and these all came out of the bins. So I give hardly anything for them. This is called JME nail polish. I've never heard of it. And I can't tell you exactly what the color is because I can't see it right now. Um, but I thought it was pretty. Look at, look at the lid. The lid has like flowers on it. It's, it's just a cute, unique design. And I thought it was kind of cute. I love the color. It's like a pink color. So I grabbed it and it's almost full. This is clean color nail lacquer. And uh, it says eight silver. It's a little bit different silver than the other one. And it's just about full too. So I grabbed all three of those. Uh, I grabbed me some of these um, berries here. And these are not styrofoam berries. These are hard berries. And these actually come from a thrift store that I went to. And they were like 25 cents a bundle. So I think she give I think she charged me like a dollar for all of them. So I got those. May use they those in my Christmas decor. <laughs> um I got two cute little pendants that just I thought they were cute. A little strawberry pendant. It's still in the bag. Um I gave two dollars for these just because I thought they were cute. And I might wear them. If I don't, I'll throw them up on eBay. And this is a cute little Christmas tree. And the Christmas trees were selling good on there. So I may put that one on eBay. If I don't sell it by Christmas, I'll probably wear it. Uh, $2 a piece for those. What else? I got some Tupperware. These do need to be cleaned up. But this is just like a, a rectangled white... Tupperware bowl. I don't know what you call these. If you know a certain name for this kind of bowl, let me know in the comments. Just say white rectangle bowl is called, you know, because I don't know the actual names of them. And if I can't find them on eBay, I won't know what to list them as. But I got this big one here. And it's got this pretty um, lid that goes to it. It's different. And it's actually, let's see, I don't know if I can get that off. What kind of world do you get it off after you get it on? <laughs> Is that the bottom or the top? Oh, that's the bottom. That's the bottom. The blue is the top. I thought the blue was the bottom. But it's got like that ribbed, rigid, I don't know what you call that. Top. It is dirty. It will, it will need a really good cleaning. Uh, I got another one here. And I, I wasn't sure what this was called. It was called like a deep uh, olive pickle canister, something like that. I got it. I saved a draft for it so I'd remember it. But that's the lid. So I got the name for this one. It has this thing here in it. And I know all y'all are probably hollering, yeah, I know what that is. That's the bottom. But yeah, I got the name for that already. I looked it up and I found that one. And all these came out of the bin. So maybe this is really not heavy at all. Maybe 50 to 60 cents for that one. I probably did give a, over a dollar for the big one I just showed you. I got a uh, California Costumes. This is like uh, Robin Hood costume in the pack and I probably paid like a dollar thirty nine for it because it's is over a pound. 
or around a pound, I would say, or a little, or a little over. Um, anywhere, probably anywhere from a dollar to dollar fifty for that. Um, I don't sell a lot of costumes, but something like Robin Hood or a character like that, I will. I don't do the ghosts and goblins and witches and all that because, y'all know, I don't even. I don't celebrate Halloween. But, you know, kids play dress up all the time throughout the year. It ain't got to be just a Halloween costume. So I picked that up. Um, I got lots of free boxes. I probably got my whole back seat in my car is full of boxes. Because I will take the boxes out of the bins and they give them to you for nothing. And bring them home and use them. That way it keeps me from having to look for boxes when I'm selling my hard goods. Um... Uh, I got this, but I think I'm just going to keep this for my husband because he does use a CPAP machine. And um, all it is is like a, a replacement extra tube for a CPAP machine. So I grabbed that. And it's real light. It's less than a dollar, I know. Picked up these curlers. I have really good luck selling curlers on eBay. So I've been picking them up when I find them. This is a set of Windmere curlers. And I paid, I got these at a thrift store, and I paid, it was $2 and something for them. $2 and something for those. I do remember that because that was the only thing I got at that thrift store. I got some Oasis pink knee pads these for like these are for like volleyball players and stuff um these i got out of a thrift store they were 99 cents i remember they had a big 99 cent sticker on them brand new they sell i think i looked them up somewhere between 14 and 17 dollars i think so i can't remember the prices half the time that's why i don't like to say I have to look it back up when I list them. Uh, Vidal Sassoon. This is a like I think a vintage set. It kind of opens on both sides. These are curlers. Opens up on both sides like that. These things work really good. Um, they didn't. Oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. I might be. Oh yeah. They have a little compartment that slides out here and it holds the pins. Because I was thinking, well, they don't have the pins. I'll still buy them even if they don't have the pins or clips. And then I, I looked, I heard it shaking, and I looked, and it had that little hideaway. I love it when they have them in little drawers on them. Um, I think I give two, $2 and I think it was like two ninety nine somewhere around there. I try not to go over $4 on curlers. Because it's according to what kind they are and what kind of shape they're in. If, um... I, it looks like that they can be cleaned up pretty good. Um, I just, you know, unless it's like um, some of these real expensive ones that sell for 60 to 80 bucks, then I will. I have actually sold one pair, one set of curlers like that for $60. Um, I would go up a little bit on price on that. I'd probably pay $10 or so for those. But uh, most of the time I try to keep it under under five at least i have paid for something for curlers if they're in really good shape and i know kind of what they're going for on ebay i always look everything up i have to look everything up to see what it's going for uh to see if it's worth me you know picking up at the price they're trying to sell it because thrift stores are getting um you know they're they're catching on so they're all starting to price their stuff higher because i know people are reselling it and um, they're pricing it higher. I picked up this long sweater. It's just an open front cardigan type sweater. It's only by Cable and uh, Cable and Gage, which is a Target brand, I think. But I thought it was so pretty. Look at that back. And it's just, oh, uh, it's just something you just want to wrap around you and cuddle up in, you know. But uh, it's really pretty. It's a size large. So I'm gonna throw that up on eBay so you can get a little something something for that. And it actually come out of the bins. So, you know, with, with the weight of it, it was probably a dollar thirty nine at least. Um, this also came out of the bins. This is a Ralph. This is a Lauren Ralph. A Lauren Active Ralph Lauren medium. And it's got a hood. It's like a long hoodie. It's like a active wear hoodie. I mean, look how long that is. 
it's pretty long it would like go down over your tail and it's got the inside green here long sleeves is kind of that stretchy material that active wear is made out of and it also has a zipper right here and it's got a pockets for your hands you know in front but when you zip down the zipper look at this it's got a little zipper area here i hope that ain't too low see the little zipper area and then when you zip it open you can see the green there i thought it was so nice i figured somebody'd like that because you know, in January, people are going to be working out and stuff, and this will keep them warm. So I thought that up on eBay, and of course it was probably a dollar thirty-nine at least because of the weight, maybe a little less. Then I picked up this orange vest, and this is actually an EMT vest, which these are selling some on eBay and different kind of orange vests, but this one. Um, there's a couple EMT vests on there, but I had I didn't find one exactly like this one, but it's pretty nice. And it also says first responder on the front, and it is a 2XL. So I'm gonna try to sell that because um, these people that I watch that are really good resellers, they sell stuff like this all the time. They even sell like shirts from restaurants, you know. Like if you just go to Zaxby, they'll sell Zaxby shirts because the employees are always looking for, um, you know, clothes that they can wear while they work and stuff. So I thought this is like new. So I thought this, uh, somebody, some EMT man out there may want it. Or a woman could even wear it. It says for men, but a woman could wear it. It's got a bunch of pockets and stuff on the back. And it's a 2XL. That's a good size. I prefer to sell the plus size clothing. It does go better. Um, I picked up some individual curlers. I'm just going to show you three out of it because they're all sitting here. I will pick up curlers if the actual unit itself it looks bad and I think it won't clean up good. I will take just the curlers from it and sell these on eBay. I forget what kind they are. I do have it in my phone. I always make notes of what kind of curlers it is or if it's a, a paddle and pan out of a bread machine I'll always put a note in my phone what kind of bread machine it came out of that way I'll know the model of what it come off of but I got these it's a whole set of 20 so I'll be selling them on eBay I just take them right off of the thing because I got them into bins took it right off of the the unit itself and threw them in my you know threw them in my buggy and with all of them, they probably weigh a pound or less. So I probably didn't even give a dollar for them. And I'll probably sell them for in about around $12 to $14 or so. Sometimes they go more. It's according to what, what kind of curlers you got. All right. Next two things I got are some punches. This I looked this one up on eBay. This one's selling for good money in the 30s. $30 or more because it's a retired stamp, locked stamp. It's got a little thing here so you can lock it down closed. But it's an owl. does need to be cleaned up. That's the punch side. But, yeah, these things are selling for good money on eBay. And if you lock it, see, it shuts it down for you tight. So I'm a, And it's by stamping up. So, I'm going to put that on eBay. And, I got this. It's like a big, it looks like about a three, three inch. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to measure it. Um, stamp. But this one is by Marvi Uchida. Something like that. I've never heard of this one. But, it is got some wear on it here. But, I'll sell, I can still sell it like this with, with this, you know, kind of faded all. The punch itself works fine. So, I'll put that on eBay and, and mark it down a little bit. I'm going to clean it up. It's got some writing on it and stuff. I can get all that off, no problem. But I'll clean it up and set it a little bit cheaper just because it's faded. You know, this thing here is faded, showing what it is. So, I'll throw that up on eBay. And it don't even weigh a pound, so I give under a dollar for that. And I think, I looked them up, I think they were going for a little bit under, I don't know, I can't remember. Was it around 10 bucks or a little under? 
maybe six, eight, ten bucks, something like that. So I won't get a whole lot for it, but I'll still throw it up on eBay. Mm. Yep, that's everything I got, y'all. Um, I love thrifting like this, you know. It is work. I do go out and thrift more. So, and y'all know I don't mind thrifting. I love to thrift. So to me, doing eBay and thrifting for eBay is not is not. It is work. There is work involved in it. You know, this stuff has to be cleaned up. You have to go out, walk around, and pick it up. Um, you have to, you know, uh, look up prices and see if it's worth buying stuff like that. Um, I've sold a little bit of everything on <laughs> on in my store. Still got a lot of stuff in my store right now. Well, you know. I'm gradually building up. I got like a little bit over 200 items in my store now. But I get a little something, everything. Because I, I can't leave things when they're like brand new. I just can't hardly leave them behind. Even if I, even if they don't get, you know, even if they won't get a lot of money. I can't hardly leave them behind. Because they're going to the dump or somewhere, you know. And I don't, I just don't see wasting good stuff. So anyway, I do, you know... I do uh, watch videos of other eBayers and stuff and try to figure out, you know, things that make good money. And trust me, I bought a few things here lately. I've made some really good money off of it. And me, I surprised myself, and my husband was very surprised at, at what I buy sometimes that sells for good money on eBay. So, um, anyway, I enjoyed it. I love thrifting. Since, and since I'm doing this kind of thrifting more, you know, this is pretty much probably what you'll see when I feel like sharing it is... Um, you know, thrift hauls of things that I buy for eBay and for me. So, I'm not going to do them all the time, every time. But, you know, I had a lot to show, so I thought I'd show it today. So, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a thrift haul. Either way, it don't matter where the stuff's going. It was a thrift haul. If you enjoyed it, give me a big thumbs up. And leave me some comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed.